Good day, sir. Uh, our Reverend Michael Obo Shubali, the charge, charge, uh, chef uh, rehabilitation. Uh, France and uh, worldwide. It is my pleasure to speak with you once again and a great honor indeed to speak with you on the affair of Celestia in France and uh, worldwide. The Celestial members, we once again want to, let me put it, the non-Celestial member or other Celestial member, we once again like to know you by presenting yourself, sir. Again, uh, the affair, how you started in a short note, how you started and where you are now. And... Uh, Briefly after that, we want to know what is the relationship between Hotel DV and uh, Celestia Church in South Africa. Thank you, sir. Calvary greetings to all Celestians in the whole wide world especially uh, Celestians in South Africa and especially Pretoria Parish. Uh, may God bless you all in Jesus' name. And Reverend Prophet Michael um, Shemuali Ubu, the uh, Chief of the Elevation mission of Celestia worldwide. Um, it's always good, you know, that Celestians should be one. Uh, we are over there because we have the same origin, we are worshiping the same God, and uh, our liturgy is the same. So it's very important that Celestians in the whole wide world should be together in unity and in faith so that the glory of Celestia will continue to shine as, as that was the dream of our Father, uh, the Father and the Lord, uh, Saint uh, L.B.G. Oshofa of blessed memory. So, may his soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. Sir, so we would like to know what has been the relationship between Hotel de Ville or Celestia Church in France and uh, South Africa. Yeah, we have a very strong and uh, and good relationship uh, because we have been interacting. Uh, I, I mean, I greet here uh, the um, head of diocese of South Africa, uh, most uh, evangelists. Um, most superior evangelist, Kobushara. And here we have a, a superior evangelist, uh, Shogujimi, his deputy. You see. So he has come here to see me, you know, with uh, the Solution Parish Shepherd, you know. We have spent some days together, you know, in very nice moment. I consider him as my son, 
my son in the Lord, and I, and the relationship is cordial. You know, as you can see it. You see. So he wanted to come here a long time ago, but because of uh, some problems, he couldn't come. So this is the time that God wanted him to be here. I hope. He has spent a very nice moment, you know, with me, and he will retain that good memories. Um, we we are sorry for the uh, passed away of his father. Uh, so I think that God will give him strength uh, to overcome that because all. Men born of a woman one day will depart from this world. So we pray God to give him, you know, power to strengthen him, you know, to overcome that. Yeah. So our relationship is a cordial one, a very strong one, you know, with South Africa diocese. I'd like to know, Rende. Time, time frame that we have known each other. We want to know what you have been able to achieve, I mean, uh, what activities you have been able to do, and what is your future project for South Africa, or to do what you plan to do with South Africa, or your dream of what the Europe or France relationship should be for the future? No, I mean, the, the uh, I don't have any project for uh, South Africa. I think that the South Africans, the church in South Africa, uh, are matured enough, you know, to manage themselves. But when there are these spiritual activities, you know, they can always, you know, invite me uh, according to their parishes, if they want, then I will go. Each time they call me, I will, I will always be there for them, you know, without any problem. As um, I'm a reverend, so wherever people call me, I go. Uh, either in Europe uh, or, or, or in America or in Africa, you see. Uh, as you know, we have parishes, you know, all over the world, but we have also celestial friends, you know. So when wherever they call us, we go. We don't make any differences, you know. We don't say, uh, I mean, uh, this celestial is different from the other one. So we consider, you know, our church as one, you know, as one body, you see. So when, wherever we are invited <coughs> to go there without any problem, you see. Uh, is there any thing you are doing concerning the administration of Celestia, how the Celestia is being managed administratively from, uh, is there differences in the administration of uh, Celestia from the people in diaspora uh, in, 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 in Europe, in America, in Afedisu? What is the church doing to make sure that everybody comes under one administration? Yeah. You know, Celestia Church of Christ, as I told you in the beginning, is one body. But uh, according to our constitution, you know, there is a central administration uh, and uh, you know because of the you know 
a personal issue. Uh, we have, you know, uh, the the pastor uh, of uh, the Benin side, uh, pastor in Nigeria, and we have another pastor in Togo. I see. So, uh, but that doesn't make any difference because, as I told you, we worship the same God. I think uh, when the time comes, God will bring his uh, children together. Uh, but I think each and every one of us should make the effort, you know, in the first place, mm -hmm. you know, to, <coughs> to meet one another, to do things together, uh, in, in spite of the uh, differences that we have in. And I'm not saying that we are divided. Jesus is not divided. We are one. We are one body because we worship in the same way. We uh, sing the same songs, you know, for for uh, in our services. So I think uh, that we cannot say today that that division uh, is um, is affecting our worship, you know, and our fellowship with God. Yeah. I think it's very, very important that each celestial should know uh, that the other celestial is his brother uh, or a sister in the Lord, and they should, you know, interact together, you know, you know so that the glory of God will be manifested to all mankind, you see. But I think in future efforts will be made that you know all those uh, pastors should try and meet together, you know, to 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 to, to solve their differences uh, for the growth and for the unity of Celeste worldwide. You see. Thank you, sir, for the enlightenment. Uh, we would like to know what's your advice for the young Celestials that are just growing up? Their challenges in the in the administration, in the administration, in uh, no. in the ranking in the ranking as well in the ranking as well what is your advice concerning uh, the the young celestia growing up yeah the advice that i will give to young celestials in the world is um, is to try their best not to you know, take care of uh, issues like uh, division because it's not important. What's important is our Lord Jesus Christ, the only mediator and uh, the only uh, savior of mankind. You know, they should try and uh, be close to God. Uh, they should accept Jesus Christ as their only model, and uh, they should try to keep the commandments of God, uh, all the tenets uh, uh, and the laws that God has given to us in Celestia, the Ten Commandments. You know, they should leave their uh, Christianism, their faith. You know, they should to leave it in a very strong manner, you know, and uh, and follow the commandments of God, you see. I think it's the most important thing. Uh, other things like uh, division, power struggle, utosus, it's not important. That's not what will lead us to the kingdom of God, you see. So everyone 
should try its best, you know, to worship God, you know, in the right way, uh, to to love his neighbors uh, and do good while he's here, you know, on head. You see, and not to take care of uh, all those irrelevant things that cannot say or, or can pollute our faith. You see, we should try, you know, to go away from all that. I think that's the advice I give to our youths. And that our youth should interact, they should come together, you know, uh, create uh, spiritual activities like evangelism for example you know uh, 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 promote bible readings and lessons uh, uh, you sh should travel out meet other youths you know in in a, in every part of the world because when you when you go out from a country to another country you will discover that you know uh, you accumulate you know riches you know spiritual riches you know because uh, you can emulate from what other countries are doing and you d you bring that to your own country you see and i think that youth can also organize you know a gathering worldwide use gathering, you know, uh, uh, they can, you know, organize it in Nigeria, in Benin, uh, uh, they can also organize it here in Europe or in South Africa, for example, you know, so that all youths, they come together, they share the same faiths and, they, you know, exchange their experiences, you know, of the Mesa Church. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. May God continue to grant you wisdom. Thank you. Uh, and the anointing, more anointing, to continue to bring us together and uh, enlarge the scope of his ministry. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. God bless you. You're welcome, sir. Our vibrant, young, dynamic shepherd from uh, Pretoria, South Africa, Superior Shango Jimmy. You are welcome to Europe. You are welcome to your house in France. We would like to welcome you once again to France and to Hotel de V. Hotel de V translation in English is the altar of life. You are welcome to the house of the altar of life. Real life are changing, real life are, are moving forward. We are live uh, getting challenges uh, into the house of our father, Reverend Michael Robo Shogwale. We'd like to know within the short few days you've been here, tell us what's your experience like and what is it like to visit our father, Reverend Michael Robo Shogwale. Yeah, firstly, uh, I, I'm going to introduce myself. My name is. Uh, Super Evangelist Samson Sean Jimmy, the shepherd in charge of CCC Pretoria Parish 1 in South Africa and the present deputy head of diocese, and also the chairman of Evangelism and Crusade Council, Southern Region. Uh, it's my pleasure to visit uh, uh, France precisely. Uh, at the seat of our daddy in the Lord, Reverend Obo Shumawali. Uh, seriously, 
Uh, if I say is my is my mentor, um, it's an understatement. Is my father in the Lord? Is is my if I call him my biological father, I, I'm not mistaken uh, because uh, he has played a very important and serious role not in only my life, many shepherds in 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 the in, in celestial fold as a whole. So he's a father, is a mentor, in fact, is uh, <laughs> a man of God indeed. Uh, it's so wonderful visiting this land because since the day I have arrived uh, with my brother, uh, the shepherd in charge of uh, Solution Parish, Jack Conde State in Nigeria, we have been together and uh, every other church members. Uh, it's, it's nice being here. It's nice being here. We are taking care of. It, it, it's so interesting. In fact, I am, I, am, I am planning the next visit as soon as, as, as possible. And uh, we well, bless God. We were here on Sunday. Uh, we, we really bless God for the, for the move of the Spirit of God in this church. It was awesome, and uh, I, I pray for the church as a whole that the that the power of the of God Almighty will continue to manifest in the church in the name of Jesus, Amen. and the grace of God shall remain sufficient for the church in the name of Jesus. Uh, sincerely speaking, uh, I, I am so delighted and I'm so happy being here. Thank you. God bless you. Once again, you're welcome. We want to, you to tell us, uh, as being the church is a spiritual church, we want to know what you've been able to see spiritually, or what you can say spiritually about the church. Uh, and what is the what the, what the, what what's your expectation between France and South Africa? What is your expectation in the future? God bless you. Um, firstly, I want to commend the work our father has done on this land because when I arrived here I was thinking because it's Europe many uh, uh, doctrine may not be observed but it was it was so shocking that in fact some doctrines that are observed here in even in Nigeria are already condemned and uh, I'm so happy that 24 hours Celestial doctrine is being observed in this church, and uh, what I see is that if it can continue this way, I'm so sure that uh, uh, what we are seeing now is just a preference to what God is about to do in this place, because the ways of God, as our hymn book says, are mysterious to accomplish His ways. It says his ways, no man can determine it, unsearchable they are. So I believe God that uh, if what I'm seeing here can be keep on or can be managed on, the sky is the beginning. And I, I, I am sure the Lord will strengthen them to do more in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And uh, seriously, one of the reasons I admire Baba so much is that he's always delighted in evangelism. And this is what I inherited from my father. And since the time I know this, it has been, it has been so wonderful. Even in my life, so, so much change. And I so much love every leader that always loves to see the young grow. 
I'm somewhat happy when I see any leader that are always interested in the, in the, in the young ones that wants them to prevail or to grow or to excel in life. So, I won't deceive you, all this attribute, Baba has them all. He grows the youth, he nurtures them, he advises them, he, 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 he empowers them. And that is what Celestia as a whole needs. If the youth are empowered, you will see that the future of the church is certain. But if the youth are not empowered, the future of the church is blinking. So I believe that the Lord will keep on strengthening him more and more in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Like I said before, you are a young reverend uh, Shepherd, what can you tell the youth in South Africa, in Nigeria, in Europe? What can you tell them in terms of the future of Celestial Church? Um, this is what I will say. In life, hard working pays a lot. In life, dedication pays a lot. So shortly my advice to all youth in the world, in Celestia as a whole, is for us to remain dedicated, to remain hard working. And by doing this, I won't deceive you, the future, not only of the church, our future is certain. And let me tell you, the truth about life is that once you have what people want, you will always be looked for. Once you carry what people want, they will always look for you. For example, People look for ATMs before because they want to withdraw their money. <laughs> so if you have or you are carrying what people want, you will be found one day. I believe the Lord will strengthen us all. Thank you. God bless you. Once again, what would you like to tell our Father in the Lord here <laughs> and his family? His family is the church. What would you like to? In sincerity, I am short of words. But I believe God. I strongly believe God. You know, when I tell you I believe God, I know what I'm talking about. I strongly believe God. The book of Nehemiah 1 verse 7 says, He is the rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. So, I don't know the kind of prayer I can make for him, but I am sure that the Lord will make everything he needs available for him at the time in his time. Because he makes things available for those who need them at the times they need them. So automatically the Lord will bless him the more and will bless the church as a whole. God bless you. Daddy, <laughs> what would you like to tell our visitors to take home? To take home? Uh, I will just um, tell him to remember the good work that um, his uh, biological father has done before departing from this world that uh, he should continue to follow his footsteps and um, that I'm proud of him as a father. The way he, he preached the gospel of life, you know, of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm encouraging him to to, to, to continue uh, uh, 
to empower himself more and more with prayers and uh, with the word of God. And I'm sure that if uh, he continues, no power of darkness will overcome him in Jesus' name. So uh, I want him to to remember the the good time that we passed together, you know, I, so that we can come back again. <laughs> we are missing him already. <laughs> so thank you very much. Thank you, sir.